Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I decided to pick up the camera today. I've got a lot of just house stuff to do today, but I also want to tackle a bigger organization project, so I figured I would take you guys along for the ride. Today I want to get the vacuuming done, laundry, um, I've already gotten up, made breakfast, all that stuff, so. And I really want to do my pantry cover today. It is overflowing due to, you know, just picking up extra things just to have on hand over the past couple weeks, not excessively, but it is it is a bit more full than it normally is, so it's gotten really unorganized. Um, so I figured I would take you guys along for a bit of that today. I figured that might be interesting if you're into organization stuff. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be a somewhat interesting vlog. It's actually the first day in St. John's of 2020 that we have lighting's better here. It's actually the first day of 2020 that St. John's has double digits temperature, which is crazy. I think it's supposed to go up to like 16 degrees this afternoon, so we might go for a walkie with Skipper. Um, he's upstairs with mom right now, but that's okay. Um, and yeah, should be a good day. Figured I'd vlog. I am back. Uh, it's been a little bit of time, aka like three hours, since I got back from the walk with Skipper. It was really nice. It's been a really nice day here to today. Like, I'm very, very impressed. Good job, weather. Anyways, um, I just got off a Zoom call with my mom and my mom's family. It's my uncle's birthday today, so happy birthday, uncle. And I thought about making supper, but if I'm gonna be going at organizing the cupboards, this, this is my excuse now. I'm gonna go at organizing the cupboards. I can't have dirty dishes covering the counter because I need the counter for space. So, I'm looking at skip the dishes right now. Um, I'm thinking maybe pizza. There's not a lot open right now. A lot of things have closed down. Basically my options are like McDonald's, Tim Hortons, Mary Brown's, and pizza places. So I think I'm gonna get Peter's. Yeah. Change of plans. We're going to make supper and be an adult. Okay. Jeez, <laughs> um, yeah, I bought two pizzas yesterday. I might as well have one of these. Problem solved. Okay, for 25. Okay guys, supper was good. We are gonna tackle the pantry cupboard now. Let me show you the before. This is the before. <laughs> so that's how overstuffed and disorganized it is right now. Can't find a whole lot in there. I wanna kinda of try and reorganize it a little bit. Um, I do have one of the smaller containers like this on the way from Amazon. It's actually the smaller square one, but I'll show that in a second cause I can't reach it right now with one hand, so yeah. This is the before. I'm gonna take everything out now. Okay, this is the one that I was reaching for earlier. So this is the, what size? This one is the 0 0.9 quart. Um, so it's a smaller square one. I like this one for hemp hearts, but I also ordered a second one to put my sliced almonds in. If you guys have watched my vlogs in the past year or so, you know I like adding this to cereal and 
oatmeal, sometimes on top of smoothies if I do a smoothie bowl. So I got through a lot of those. So I figured I would get another one of these um, before the old packaging sells out. So far, so good. Well, now that my kitchen is a disaster, here is the empty cupboard. Definitely needs a wipe down. We got dog treats, sauces, soups, baking, smaller stuff, more sauces, jams, croutons that probably need to be thrown out, chocolate chips, more baking, more jam. <laughs> got some sauces like molasses, honey, nut butters, nuts and seeds, hemp hearts, breadcrumbs and shake and bake, packets of gravy, hollandaise, and Yorkshire pudding. Uh, we got hamburger helper, instant potatoes, <laughs> fettuccine alfredo, regular pasta, craft dinner. A lot of this stuff I don't normally keep as much of this on hand, guys. Just trying to stock up on easy things to cook. Um, I don't normally keep a lot of like craft dinner and this kind of stuff. Normally I'm making like stir fries and stuff, so. Yeah, and over here we have crackers, rice, snacks, and drinks like tea and hot chocolate and sugar twin. So I have wiped down the cabinet shelves with uh, all-purpose cleaner and it was kind of sticky. So I decided to go in and try a couple of other cleaners on top. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can, it comes up on camera. There seems to be like some sort of dirt or fading on the shelves. I guess they were placed differently at one point or something. I don't know. But yeah, I'm trying to get that faded. So I have Barkeeper's Friend on one of the yellow spots right now to see if it'll help fade it. I just made a paste with some warm water and applied it with a brush. And uh, oh, it's going out of focus. Um, but yeah, hopefully that helps at least lighten the yellow a bit. If not, oh well, at least we tried. And uh, yeah, so soon we should hopefully be able to get the food back in. Okay, so I just wanted to go through my thought process with you guys for a second. Maybe wondering why I'm putting all this random stuff up on the top. So these are all the things that I would consider a refill of a product that's either here, here, or here. So what I need to try and do, I'd like to have the top shelf as just the refills. So the stuff that you only reach for when you run out of the thing. And then the middle shelf and the bottom shelf will be more of the, the actual stuff. So now what I need to figure out is how to organize that. I still need to leave room for the dog treats, <laughs> which I moved because I needed that space just to like lay things. Yeah, so I gotta try and figure out how to configure this. So that is my next step. I have Spotify going with the Pretty Basic podcast. The dog treats used to be on the top shelf, which didn't make a whole lot of sense because I actually reach for those super often. <laughs> because my dog's a spoiled brat. Just kidding, well, kind of. So all the refills and backups go right to the teriyaki bottles. That's like a row going back into the shelf. So from that over, that is all backups. And then I thought, hmm, good segue. If I put the sauces on the end, I can put the other sauces there. So I've got butter chicken sauce and pasta sauce there. And I just have the soups there in the corner. So yeah, that's my little- Okay guys, da 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 da. She is finished, a beautiful masterpiece. <laughs> so it's 10.30, it's not too late. This is my pantry cupboard now. So let's do a little tour, shall we? So again on top, from here to teriyaki sauce, VH, we have all of the backups, and then we have some sauces, a hot pepper jelly, soup down here. We have some miscellaneous cooking slash prepping items that I use kind of frequently or super frequently. The most frequently used stuff is right in the front there, so the cinnamon sugar, almonds, and the seeds and stuff I keep right in the front there. Then over here we have baking land, so all the smaller stuff is in here, and all the big canisters are here. One of them is in the back, the oat, and the icing sugar, which I don't have a tote for right now. Then down here I have the treats, the peanut butter, and the kong. Here I have drinks, so upon my pre-workout, which I actually managed to fit in the cupboard, um, it's been on my windowsill for like months. I have hot chocolate, a few marshmallows there. Um, this baggie, I did take these out of the box, 
some Tim Hortons apple cinnamon tea just to make that fit a bit better. And there we go. And then we have some pastas, rice, there's smaller rice and some baggies of some of those big boxes of pasta. There we go. So I kind of deboxed the macaroni and bow ties because the boxes were almost empty. And we have my rice canister right there with the instructions. Need that. And then we have crackers and cookies and I think there's some goldfish crackers and tuna kits there in the back. So there we go. That is my organized pantry cupboard. Now you may have noticed there is some things here on the side as well. These guys I could not get to fit. I mean, I could probably squeeze them in here if I really needed to, but nah, whatever. <laughs> so I have a bit of pasta here. I kind of just bought it when it was on sale and I was stocking up my cupboard in the event that I needed shelf life food. Back when it was still a bit unclear if the grocery stores were going to remain open all the time. So I would say it was during when people were a little bit paranoid and over shopping. So yeah, have those there. I'll use them eventually. My cereal's here, but because I don't have canisters for my cereal, I go through it quick enough that I don't feel it's necessary to have a canister for it. I eat a lot of cereal. <laughs> so I kind of just leave it here on the side of the microwave. I just find it fits there and yeah, it's easy to reach. So yay, this apartment is not all about looks people. This is my first place. It's not gonna look perfect. So now I should probably put all that food back over here so the dog doesn't eat it. Not that he would eat it. I mean, he's literally been here sleeping the whole time. Were you sleeping the whole time? He's <laughs> you good boy. Yes, he has something on his eye. I know, I'm gonna get it looked at when the vets reopen. I mean, right now vets are technically open in the event of really urgent things like vaccinations and the emergency vets are open. It's not bothering him. He's not scratching at it. He's not, it doesn't appear to be like itchy or anything. He really doesn't touch it at all. I'm not super duper concerned about it and neither is mom. So we're just gonna wait until things kind of run back to normal and just book like a regular checkup, I guess. Hey guys, I just realized that I forgot to end the vlog last night. It's the next day. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was somewhat entertaining. And uh, yeah, I will hopefully see you guys sooner rather than later. Bye.